Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and for today's video, I will be doing the hypocrite YouTuber tag. I came along this video by watching Eved XO's and I loved it. I think she's an awesome YouTuber. I actually discovered her when she did the video of her experience of going to the real daytime show and I was shocked by it. I was like, what? Like, I love that show and she was just saying how she like didn't have a good experience there. And so ever since then, I've been super obsessed with her channel because she seems like just such a cool chick to just watch, honestly. And so when I watched her video of answering her questions, I was like, I have to do this video. And so yeah, if you want to see what this tag is all about, then just keep on watching. But first, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you are enjoying it. And yes, uh, we are in a different location. I am right now in my living room, which I love my home so much. But it's later on in the day, and I usually like to use natural sunlight, but there is no more because it is 6.20 p.m. right now, and the best lighting in my home is my living room when there's no natural lighting. So, like, just, like, you know, the lighting in the house. So... That's why we're here. But anyways, it is 10 questions, so let's get started. All right, so the first question is, have you ever blocked anyone on Instagram? Yes, I have. It was more when I was a teenager in high school, I would receive so many weird messages by these just creepy dudes and yeah it would make me feel uncomfortable so i would just block them i think they're still blocked because i just haven't even gone in and unblocked them but there were a lot of people i feel like back then it was more them commenting weird things about me but now it's guys and girls dming me i'm not sure why people feel the need to dm me if i want to join their mlm or these like weird companies. I don't know what people nowadays use social media for. I don't know, just weird people. Now it's through DM, but back then it was like commenting on my actual pictures. But yeah, I've had that and I have blocked them. So yeah, I have blocked people on Instagram. And then the second question is, do you envy any YouTubers? Envy, not necessarily. I definitely see successful YouTubers and I see that as something that I can accomplish too. If I just work very hard on it. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of YouTubers that I look up to, like the Ace family. I love that family. I think it's amazing. The empire they've been able to build by just them filming. I think it's really cool. Even after like all the drama and rumors that have gone on around them, they're still very successful successful and I believe it's for a reason. I love watching them. I actually went to their charity event last year and it was amazing. I loved it. Another people that I really love is Alondra Desi. I love her social media and I think she's an awesome YouTuber and I'm obsessed with her and Benny. Whatever they got going on, I love it and I support it. Uh, who else? Carly Bible. I feel like that's the definitely the type of YouTuber that I want to become. She has like beauty and lifestyle and vlogs all in one channel. That's what I definitely want to do. I want to definitely incorporate more of like my life and my husband and my family, but still keeping it beauty so that I can always inspire women to feel and look beautiful. So I love her channel, but yeah, that's you know, just a rundown of my favorite YouTubers that I love. Number three is, have you ever responded to mean comments in a rude way? I think that because I'm still a small YouTuber, I don't get hate like big YouTubers do. Yeah, I have never honestly received any mean comments on my YouTube channel. Thank you, Jesus. So no, I've never responded to any mean comments in a rude way, but I see that when I comment to like other YouTubers channel, like a positive thing to say or something nice, which I always do, I will receive hate in that comment of just haters just like bashing me or the YouTuber. And I'm like, really? Like you really spent your time watching a full video and then just to hate on it? I'm like, 
really you have nothing better to do with your life and so that's when I have responded to them not in a rude way but more of like putting them in their place if it's not me then it's other people defending me and like messaging them back so yeah that's the only rude comments that I've ever responded to thank god I haven't received any hate on my channel number four it's which video is your favorite you've ever done definitely all of the vlogs that I filmed for my niece's birthday have been my absolute favorite growing up in my family my parents couldn't afford a video camera but my mom was so sweet and would get like those disposable cameras and always for every like special holiday i have like 20 pictures from my birthday or things like that which i love her for it but i always wish that i had videos of myself because there's just not any i think the first video that i can look back on my life and be like oh you know what that was cool was for my quinceanera but yeah anything younger i don't have anything and so for my niece I was the one that I knew that I wanted to film every special holiday and all her birthdays so that when she's older, she can look back at her videos. Okay, and then number five is, what video are you most embarrassed about? For sure, my first video that I've ever done and I actually still have it up on YouTube. And yeah, it's very cringy and uh, every single time that I watch it, I'm like, what was I thinking? First of all, I filmed the first few videos on my iPhone and I had a lot of pictures on there and so I could only film like seven minute videos or less or else my camera would completely overflow and it just wouldn't save the video and so I remember like saying to myself okay I only have like five minutes to get everything that I want to get done and like film the short video and then like I have to be done with it and so if you see my first few videos like they're really rushed that's why and then also I had family in my home and I was so scared for them to figure out that I was actually like filming YouTube videos and so I talked like this like very quiet so that like no one would hear me and oh my gosh, it was just like a complete mess. And that video, it was like my 20th time attempting to film this video because I would like slip up my words or I would like forget what I was saying. And I didn't know how to edit back then. And I would just like film one take and then upload it. And so by then I was like tired of having to like delete it and then refilm it, delete it and then refilm it. And so now I was like, whatever, screw this. This is the last time if I say something crazy, I'm just gonna keep it and keep rolling with it. This is gonna be the video that I upload. And so I start off saying, oh yeah, I have a shirt on. This is a green shirt. Oh, no, it's orange, whatever. Just go get your life together. <laughs> like, oh my God. I haven't watched that video in like probably two years, but oh, it's so cringy. But you know what? We all start somewhere. I'm sure you can look at your favorite YouTubers and see the first video they uploaded. And some people actually delete their first YouTube video or just make it private just because it's that embarrassing but I keep mine up because yeah, I don't know it's, it's special to me somehow but yeah that's the most embarrassing video I've ever done <laughs> but yeah number six is have you ever had a problem with another youtuber no I have not in fact I went to high school with a couple other girls that are studying to do YouTube, which I think is super cool. I'm kind of embarrassed to tell them that we should collab on a video together, but no, like I don't really know, other than them, I don't know any other YouTubers personally, but I would love to make new friends. So if you are also a small YouTuber and you wanna become, you know, online friends, I'm totally down. But yeah, I haven't had any problem with other YouTubers. And then number seven is, what would you change about your channel? I love my channel. I did everything on my own. I've learned to edit. I've learned how to do like my channel art on my own. So I love everything about my YouTube channel. The one thing that I wish that 
I've been meaning to do for sure is have like a professional photo shoot and have like my picture taken so that you can like see my makeup and like my personality and just see what my YouTube channel is all about. I feel like every big YouTuber like has like that one picture that looks like super bomb and it goes exactly with their brand. I'm still trying to figure that out but yeah that's one thing that I would like to change is like my profile picture and then also just learn how to edit more especially this year since my husband and i are traveling quite a bit i would like to make like our videos look like amazing with like drone shots that is something that i definitely want to do this year just learn how to edit more and like i mentioned alondra desi uh one of her friends benny which i think they're dating and that's her boyfriend but anyways his videos are so cool like when he goes out clubbing with his friends his editing is out of this world it's so amazing so i would love to learn how to edit like him also desi perkins husband his editing is also on point so yeah definitely learning how to edit stepping up my edit game and then getting a new profile picture but other than that, I love my channel. Number eight is, have you ever been inspired or copied another YouTuber? I don't think I've ever copied another YouTuber. I mean, I get inspired by other YouTubers, especially like for this video. I got inspired by Yvette xo to film this video but yeah i feel like this world is so short to just be like oh you copy this or you copy that like no like we all are allowed to inspire one another number nine is have you ever disliked another youtuber's video no i have not i feel like disliking other people's videos is very disrespectful and it's a form of bullying, honestly. I remember watching The Shaytards many years ago. And one of the daughters, Emmy, was really into watching her family's channel. And so after Shay would edit and he would upload the video, Emmy would love to watch her family channel. And so I remember Shay once asked Emmy, like, what is it about our channel that you love watching so much? And I don't remember what her answer was, but it was something like, oh, it makes me happy or it really brightens up my day. I don't know what she said, but she asked her dad, why are so many people disliking this video? And Shay gave her a lesson and said, you know what? Not everyone in this life is going to like you and that is okay. As long as you like yourself, that's all that matters. And she said, but dad, what's the point of having a dislike button? Like, I, I don't get it. And I agree with her. Like, there is no point of having a disliked video. Like, do you go on Instagram and dislike a video, uh, like a picture or a video? No, you don't. You can only like it or comment on it. So I don't know why on YouTube you have that option. Although I've never disliked a video, if I just don't like it, I just simply click away. But other people like to dislike it and like to leave mean comments, which I don't understand why they would even waste their time doing that. But it sucks that that's an option for them. And then also one of my favorite YouTubers, Alfie, he sat down with the CEO of YouTube and that topic came up. And her reasoning for it is because, for example, if me as a viewer, I watch your channel and let's say I came across a video that I didn't really enjoy as much, that's a way to dislike it so that you as a YouTuber know that people dislike that video and you can move forward and make better content. But Alfie shut her down real quick and he said, no, people dislike your video to hate on you. They don't dislike it to say, uh, I didn't really like it, but you can improve. He clearly said that option is there for haters. And I agree. I don't think that the dislike button should be there anymore. I think that they should completely get rid of it. Only likes because there's just no need for dislikes. You know what I'm saying? So I've never disliked a video, but I've definitely had a lot of people dislike my videos. Do you have fake accounts to do things you wouldn't do with your main account? For YouTube, no. I only have my main YouTube account, and then I have a vlog channel that I created with my husband, but all those videos are private now, just because they weren't really amazing, honestly, but I still want to keep them for like memories and whatnot. But no, I don't have other fake accounts. 
I am my real account. But yeah, that's all of the 10 questions for this tag. I had so much fun filming this video. I love creating these random tags it makes me feel like the old school youtube is back but anyways i hope you all enjoyed my video thank you so 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 much for watching leave me a comment down below what videos you guys think that i should film or that you would want me to film anyways let me know what you guys think please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel hit that bell so that you are notified every single time that i upload give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.